Now what we want to do is we want to give the equation of a sine function that has an amplitude of 3, period of 45, and a phase shift of 180 degrees. So we know our equation is going to be y equals, we already have the amplitude, 3. It said it's going to be a sine function, so we're going to say sine. Now we have to find this b value right here, and then we got to find the c value over here. Well, it told us the period's 45. Remember the period is always 360 divided by the b value. Now this time, we're trying to find the b value. Normally we have it in the equation. But we do know this p-value, the period. So we know 45 is equal to 360 divided by b. Now solving this, we can just put it over 1. We can cross multiply, get 45b equals 360, and now divide by 45. That's going to give us an 8. So b is 8. So that's going to be 8 theta. We just found the b-value. Now. You cannot find the C value without knowing the B value. And the reason why is because remember the phase shift is the opposite of C divided by B. We just found B to be 8. Well, that's an 8. We know it says the phase shift is 180 degrees. So we're going to do 180 opposite of C, which is who we're trying to find, divided by 8. Okay? Now, so we know, if we put this over 1, we get the opposite of C is 8 times 180. Well, that's 1,440. If the opposite of C is 1,440, that means C is a negative 1,440. So we're going to put minus 1,440 there. This is our equation. It has an amplitude of 3, period of 45, in a phase shift of 180 degrees.